In this video, we're going to take a general look at solving linear equations. As we solve linear equations, quite often we have the variable that shows up on both sides of the equal sign. This means we may have to fix it by moving the variables to one side by adding or subtracting the smaller term. Once the variable is only on one side, we can begin to move the numbers away from that variable to solve for x. However, before we move the variable to one side, sometimes we may have to simplify first. We can simplify by distributing, and combining like terms. Oops. On each side. Let's take a look at some examples where we have to get the variable on one side and that we might have to simplify first. In this first problem, we will continue to balance through the equal sign like always, but you notice the variable is on the right and the left. We will start by getting the variable on one side by moving the smaller term. The negative 5 is smaller than the positive 2. The opposite of a negative 5x is a positive 5x. And just like always, we will do the same thing to both sides and line up our like terms. Now we have 2x plus 5x is 7x plus 7. Notice the 5x's subtract out to 0, and we're just left with the negative 3. Now we have a two-step equation, which we can solve. First, we get rid of the plus 7 by subtracting 7 from both sides. We now have 7x equals negative 10. Finally, to get the x alone, we divide both sides by 7, and x is equal to the fraction negative 10 sevenths. Let's take a look at another problem then, a problem which we have to simplify first before we can get the variable on one side. Again, we will always split at the equal sign, but this time, we must simplify first. On the left side, we can distribute the 4 through the parentheses. When we do, we have 8x minus 20, and then at the end, a plus 3. On the right side, we can distribute as well, giving us 20x minus 1 minus a 10x. You may also notice that we are not done simplifying. We can still combine like terms. On the left side, we've got like terms in the constants. So we have an 8x, and negative 20 plus 3 is negative 17. On the right side, the like terms are 20x and negative 10x. We have 10x minus 1. Now we have simplified the expression. Now we're ready to get the variable on one side. We will do that by moving the smaller one, 8x smaller than 10x. We can move the 8x, which is positive, by subtracting 8x from both sides. Notice the 8x subtracts out to 0, leaving negative 17 equals 2x minus 1. Now we can solve a two-step equation by adding 1 to both sides, moving away from the x, giving us negative 16 equals 2x, and finally, dividing both sides by 2, so the x is alone. In this problem, the x is representing the number negative 8. We found that solution by first simplifying by distributing and combining like terms, then moving the variable to one side of the equation by moving the smaller one, and solving the resulting two-step equation. 